So hi and welcome to this video. So today what we're going to be learning how to do is we're going to be learning how to create our own hashtag system similar to that of Twitter using PHP um, for our websites. Uh, so this tutorial was requested by this user on the How Code Q&A and uh, he asked if you can, uh, if I can show how to make a hashtag uh, system and I replied and this is what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. So let's get started. So, because I'd never made a hashtag system before, uh, I just went over it um, for about 10 minutes or whatever to uh, just to see the best way to do it. And it's actually really easy and simple. It only took me 17 lines of code, including the opening and closing PHP tags. So, let's get started. So, what we want to do first is obviously open up the PHP tags. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable called string. And this is the string that we want to contain our hashtag in. So, I'll just say, this is a test. Uh, and I'll put the hashtag before... Uh, the test. So this is a hashtag test. Then I'm going to create a variable called htag and I'm just going to set that equal to the hashtag symbol. So these are both strings um, and the we don't actually need this second variable. I mean we could use we could uh, do it same, easily enough without it but uh, it makes things a bit easier if we uh, include this variable. So we need to create a variable called array and or I mean we need to create an array, an array um, and assign it into the array variable here. I'm going to use the explode function in PHP to explode this string and convert it to an array. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put a space here and what this does is it says explode the array um, so uh, using the uh, space as a delimiter in the string variable. So this basically means it'll make an array and then it'll um, Every time it sees a space, it will uh, know that's the end of the uh, array item. So, for example, in the array, the first item will be uh, test. The second item will be is. Whoops. Uh, the third item will be ah. Uh, well, uh, I mean, obviously, you get the rest of it. So, that's the way this is going to work. So, if we uh, say print underscore r. Uh, let's say. Uh, whoops, that's a string. We need to use the array variable. Uh, then if we uh, refresh the page now, we'll see that we've split up the string into an array and these are all uh, different elements within that array. What we want to do is uh, we want to count the elements in the array. So we'll say ARRC, which is the array count, uh, which is what the C means, it means count, is going to be equal to the count function and then we're going to give it the uh, parameter of the first array, so it'll count all the elements in the array. So we should get four if we say echo ARRC uh, and then refresh the page, we should get four. So uh, we get four echoed out to us on the page. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a generic variable just called i, um, and this is just a variable we're going to use in our while loop uh, here. So I'll just go down a bit more. Uh, so this while loop, what it's going to do is it's going to iterate through the array and it's going to check if any of the items in the array. Um, have a hashtag at the beginning of them. So it's a really simple idea. Basically, we're just getting the string, splitting it into an array so we can search through the array, or I mean, iterate through the array with the while loop. And then every time we find um, an item in the array whose first character is a hashtag, then we're going um, to convert that into a link so you can click on the hashtag. So now we've uh, created our i variable. We're just going to say while i is less, whoops, i is less than uh, arrc which is the count. So this basically says is while zero is less than four. The first thing we obviously want to do is we want to increase the uh, i variable by one so that this way the loop doesn't last forever. The loop only loops through each of the items in the array. So now we're iterating through our array with the while loop. We need to uh, use the sub str function within PHP to check the first character of each item in the array. So we're going to use the if statement obviously to check if something is true. And we're going to say uh, i Whoops, actually not I. We're going to say sub str, uh, arr, and then we're going to access the index um, of the i variable. So basically, each time the array loops through, the first time it loops through, this is going to be 0. The next time it will be 1, then 2, then 3. So we're going to uh, check each item in the array, and this is how we access an item in an array. We put the array name, two square brackets, and in between them, we put the index of the item in the array that we want to check, or I mean we want to uh, retrieve. So we've retrieved that now, and then we're going to put the, uh, whoops, we're going to say comma zero comma one, and then uh, just get rid of that. So this will um, start at the beginning of the uh, item, which is in this case, if for the first time we run through this, this will be the word this. So we're basically saying if sub str this, and then this means the first character, 
which means T, uh, and then this means well, this means start at the first character or uh, and then end after the first character. So this will just get the T from the uh, first item in this case, which is this, and it will check if that begins with a hashtag. So then what we're going to say is equals equals equals, uh, oops, H tag. So this means if the first character is a hashtag, then what we're going to do is echo um, ARR, uh, ARRI, which means we'll get echo the item in the array whose uh, first character is a hashtag. So let's refresh and we see it says hashtag test. But none of the other items in the array are echoed out. So all we're gonna, all we have to do now is we need to say reassign the um, the array. So we're gonna say arr and then uh, the square brackets and then the i, which basically means the array item. And we're gonna set that equal to uh, the same thing again. So we're uh, overriding it, but we're keeping the uh, same information. We're just adding new uh, data onto it. So we're just gonna append uh, a link. Whoops, uh, a link onto the beginning of it, and it's just going to link to nowhere at the moment. And then we're going to uh, end the link. So now that we've actually finished uh, messing about with our um, our string, we're going to convert it back into a string because up here we started with a string, we converted it to an array, and now we di and we did whatever we wanted to do to it. In this case, we converted or we converted the hashtags into links. Then we're down here, what we want to do is reconvert it back into a string. So we're going to say the string variable again equals ARR, uh, or whoops, it's actually implode. And this basically sticks the array, or sticks the uh, array back into a string. So up here, we're basically converting from a uh, string to an array, and here we're converting the same uh, array back into a string. Then we're just going to echo string. So let's refresh. And as you can see, it says this is a hashtag test, and the hashtag test is uh, converted to a link. And this uh, works for anything in our strings. So we could say uh, how code is great, and this won't be converted to a string. We could say, and then we could actually end it as well with hashtag how code or uh, is the best or whatever. So we're just putting in whatever we want in our string. It'll work with everything. And we just refresh the page. And as you can see, everything's fine except the two words that start with a hashtag are converted into links, just like on a website like Twitter or whatever, for example. So we can do one more thing. We can um, make this uh, into a function. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete the string variable. And I'm going to say a function uh, hashtag. Whoops, uh, and I'm just going to end it down here, and we're going to give it the or we're going to give it the parameter of string. So this means we can use this anywhere on our website, and it should work fine. We're just going to go down here, and we're going to say um, uh, hashtag string, and this will oh whoops we don't want to use a string we want to provide it a string. So I'm going to say uh, high code is Great. Uh, go to. Whoops, actually, I didn't mean to spell that wrong. Go to highcode.org. Uh, it's the best. I don't know. So we're just going to say something like that, and we're going to refresh. But as you can see now, it's blank. That's because we didn't tell it to echo out uh, the the uh, final sort of product in our string. I mean, in our function. So we just want to go down here and say echo hashtag. Uh, so we'll echo the hashtag function, and whoops. Um, okay, uh, simplify things. We're just gonna say echo. Okay, the reason that didn't work, we'll just go back, is because we didn't return the string. So I'm gonna say return string, and then now we can echo it out. So it says high code is great. Go to highcode.org. It's the hashtag best. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.